we have another example. We have equation with absolute value, but you have to note that we have x in denominator. It means first we have to assume that x must be different than zero. Next, because we have absolute value, we will use to solve this equation definition absolute value. We see that absolute value bars are split to two cases. First, when the number between absolute value bars is positive or zero, we just copy this number. And the second case, when the number between absolute value bars is negative, we have to put negative sign before this number. So what we have to do first, we have to find the domain for the first case. We have first case. The domain must be greater than or equal zero. So let's copy. We have five over x between absolute bars. And this number must be greater than or equal zero. First, we have to solve this inequality. We will multiply both sides our inequality by x square. x and square will cancel and we have 5x is greater than or equal 0. So because we need to find x, first I will divide both sides by 5. 5 and 5 will cancel and we have x is greater than or equal 0. This is our domain for the first case. Now when we have this domain we can go to our equation. We have absolute value of 5 over x is equal 10. So in first case we just get rid of absolute value bars and copy this number. So we have 5 over x is equal 10. And we have to solve this equation. We can multiply both sides by x. x and x will cancel and we have 5 is equal 10x. Now we divide both sides by 10. 10 and 10 will cancel. 5 with 10 will reduce. And we have 1 half is equal x. I will change the sides so we have x is equal 1 half. When we have the solution, now we have to check if it's included if our, in our domain. 1 half is greater than 0. So we can say we have first solution x equals 1 half. Now we have to go to second case when the number between absolute value bars is negative. So we have second case 5 over x is less than 0. We will multiply again both sides by x square. x and square we cancel and we have 5x is less than 0. So now we divide both sides by 5. 5 and 5 will reduce and we have x is less than 0. Now we have the domain for the second case. So let's go to our equation we have absolute value of 5 over x is equal 10. Now when we are get rid of absolute value bars we have to put negative sign before this number. So we have negative and we just copy this ex expression we have 5 over x is equal 
we have to solve this equation. I will multiply both sides by negative. Negative and negative will reduce and x. So we have 5 is equal negative 10x. Now we will divide both sides by negative 10. So negative and negative 10 will cancel and 5 with 10 will be 2 and 1. So we have negative 1 half is equal x. Now we will change the sides so we have x equals negative 1 half. Now we have to check if our solution is included in our domain. Negative 1 half is less than 0, so our solution is correct. So we can say our problem is solved.